Welcome back, everybody. Will Warsham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal Discussion, where he answers a viewer's legal question right here on the air. Welcome back, Will. Thanks. Good to see you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good All right. This has to do with kids. My wife has agreed that if I let her have custody of our children, she will not ask for child support. What kind of agreement do I need to have her sign? What do you say? Well, this is kind of interesting. I'm going to assume there's a divorce going on here. Apparently. That's <laughs> usually why okay. that kind of question mm -hmm. comes up. But let's be really clear. Parties can have those kind of discussions amongst themselves mm -hmm. as to who's going to have primary custody of the kids and who's going to pay child support. But they don't get to make that agreement. That's up to a court to decide. Okay. Because the money paid for child support mm -hmm. is not for the parent that receives a child support. It's for the kid. Yes. And so let's just say in this situation, it's the wife that's going to have custody of the kids mm -hmm. and is going to be receiving a child support payment. That's not her money to give away. That's the kid's money. So that child support amount is going to need to be determined by a court to be what's appropriate. Okay, so can you not just make this agreement and just not say anything about it and move on? Do people try to do that? Well, yeah, people try to do all kinds of I'm things. I'm sure they do. <laughs> bad idea? Uh, it, it's always a bad idea. Um, you need to, a court will need to get involved in a situation like mm -hmm. this. And of course, if there's a divorce, a, a court mm -hmm. is going to be involved. But a judge is going to make the decision on what's in the best interest of the child, and that's going to um, be part of the conversation about who gets custody. Just because both parents agree, oh, we want mom to have custody mm -hmm. or we want dad to have custody, the court may say, I don't think that's in the best interest of the child. Mm -hmm. I want the child to have time with both parents. I want the child to have equal time with both parents, or I want the child to have more time with this parent or more time with this parent. The decision is not based about what the parents want. The decision is made about what's in the best interest of the child. So how does that come about, though? If the parents decide we want to split up, they go to court, they think they can just get a divorce, does the judge literally set an appointment and say, you've got to come in, you've got to bring me your papers, you've got to tell me about your kids, and we're going to talk this out? Well, it, it kind of depends on what all the pleadings are and all that. A lot of times the courts will look at what the, the parents have to say mm -hmm. about an arrangement and mm -hmm. will take... I mean, in any court case, you have to have witnesses. Well, who yeah. are the best witnesses about the kid? A lot of times it's going to be the parents. Hmm. So the mm -hmm. court is going to weigh heavily on what the parents have to say about what they think is in the best interest of the child. If the court has any questions about that, the court can appoint a guardian ad litem, which would be like an attorney, right. that could look into the situation. And I would say any time the parents come in and say, all one side or the other, I would think the court's going to look at that a little bit of scans and say, I'm not sure that's in the best interest of the child. Yeah, and that makes sense because I think at the beginning of a divorce situation, their tempers can be a little heated. You might not be thinking quite straight. And then down the road, you may say, what were we thinking? Yeah, it happens all the time. I mean, modifications, um, f petitions for modification, mm -hmm. motions mm -hmm. to modify are filed all the time to change not only child custody arrangements, and all, but also the child support amounts. And so it's not uncommon that you'll see arrangements made down the road to change things. Now, the important thing to remember is there are standards when modifications are made. It has to be a substantial and continuing changed circumstance. So those arrangements and those agreements made at the beginning, they can stick and they can be difficult to change down the road absent mm. of a compelling reason to do so. Okay, so think it through. Absolutely. As you would any relationship, hopefully, or if you decide to split it up, any way you slice it, there are kids yeah. who matter very much and it's about them. Yeah, so. and get a lawyer. And get a lawyer. Yeah. All right, Will Worsham, thanks. If you have a question for Will, you can email him at wworsham at color10.com and he will answer your question coming up on the show and we will see you next week. Thanks, Joy. Will, thanks very much. All right, coming up. Our